The U.S.-China trade war, thought to have simmered a bit following the Trump administration's tariffs escalating to a whole new level with the U.S. ban on advanced chip exports. Senior columnist Rick Newman and presidential candidate in 2024 joining us now. Uh, no, Rick, you're, you're not running? You've declared, right? Uh, tax breaks for news anchors. That's my whole platform. That's your platform. So tell us uh, about the escalation here. These are new rules that the uh, Biden administration announced two weeks ago with almost no fanfare. And if you remember back, everything about the Trump tariffs on China uh, went through a megaphone, whether Trump was talking about it on Twitter, on all of his uh, all of his interviews, and everybody had to figure out, is he really going to go through on this threat or not go all the distance? Um, what Biden has done seems to be far more significant with far less fanfare. And the short version of this, it's very complicated, is a whole new... Uh, range of what are basically embargoes on advanced uh, semiconductor sales to China and also any technology that China might be able to use to make its own advanced semiconductor. So uh, one analyst described this as an intent to strangle with an intent to kill China's artificial intelligence industry. And this has everything to do not just with uh, uh, computers and technology, but it has a lot to do with surveillance, uh, electric vehicles, uh, and certainly with advanced weaponry. So uh, the Biden administration is doing something here that really seems like it is going to uh, put a stranglehold on part of China's economy, and China is probably going to retaliate in some way. So uh, this is going to get messier. Just real quick, how do you think they might retaliate? Because we haven't heard much about that yet, Rick. No, they haven't. So uh, there are some of the things they could do would be uh, making life hard for U.S. businesses operating in China. There are many, uh, many American businesses uh, that want to sell to the Chinese market and do sell to the Chinese market. I mean, think about Tesla and Apple, for example. Um, they could also restrict sales to the United States of things like uh, rare earth minerals. Those, there, there are some such minerals uh, really important to technologies of the future uh, that uh, China has uh, kind of has a corner on the market. Um, so they could do that, or could, they could do subtler things, and they could also file uh, a complaint at the World Trade Organization, which um, would take years and years to resolve, as is usually the case. So um, this is going to be very interesting for a long time to come. And Rick, speaking of the rising, uh, the escalating tensions here between the U.S. and China, the Chinese firm behind TikTok is now denying some allegations that we heard published initially in Forbes that it was using the social media app to track American users, you would think that this would attract even more scrutiny from Washington then. And I think it is attracting scrutiny from Washington behind the scenes. This is a, this is kind of a weird uh, dance, if you will, between ByteDance, TikTok's parent company, and Forbes. So Forbes uh, published a piece recently um, saying that the parent company of TikTok, based in China, had a plan to uh, monitor or track a, what sounds like a small number of U.S. individuals, and they did not identify who, the, who they were. Now, they said they had a plan to track uh, these people, and we don't know if it was just um, randos using TikTok or if they were going to track, you know, like Mitch McConnell and Joe Biden on TikTok. Um, now, what ByteDance has come out and said is, no, we did not track anybody on, on TikTok, tic, uh, uh, any U.S. users on TikTok, TikTok. So Forbes said they had a plan to do it, without actually putting it into effect. And ByteDance came out and said, no, we never tracked anybody, uh, any American users on TikTok. So what's really going on here? I don't know. But uh, look, I mean, we should all know at this point, every social media company sucks up every bit of data it can get about you, including ones based here in the United States. And uh, now there are many millions of people whose data is on a social media app that is controlled by a company in China. Yeah. Is that cool with everybody? You know, it seems to be. It seems like a lot of the users simply don't care, which is also part of the issue here. But I'm sure we will. This is not the last of it. We will continue to hear more about this. Rick Newman, as always, thanks so much. Have a good weekend. Bye, guys.